Hello everyone and welcome to another YYT set review. It's been a while, I'm back, James D with YYT, and I'm here with the ice cards for Opus 22. You know my system, it's very simple. We've got our meh and we've got the good stuff. With ice, it's going to be debatable I think of how, how far we get with each. Please do make sure you check out our other uh, set reviews, all YYT will be taking part. And we're going to hopefully get some new games out, uh, some new deck lists, and yeah, just kind of get back into the swing for 2024. But any further ado, I'm going to try and keep it short and sweet for uh, these cards, because, you know, we're just going to want to get started playing these as quickly as we can. You know, come on, FF decks. <laughs> come on, Octagon. And we'll all get a further ado. First of all, we have a monster, Ice Bomb. Great. Bomb Synergy. FFCC still relevant? Question mark? Overall, it's true ice satisfaction. Um, we know from previous sets that these types of uh, monsters aren't the strongest. You'd rather have a monster that has a zero CP action to turn it into a forward. Usually when it just sits there, it's just sitting as a bomb. Yeah, you know, thing, all, all that. It's just waiting to be targeted kind of thing. No protection. Yes, it freezes. It's damage free. If you have a choice over this or Biblos, take Biblos 99% of the times. Even in sealed, this is pretty, pretty meh. Not a great start, not a great start, but hey, don't worry. We've got our very first job, Green Knight. Woo, Bart's Green Knight. Let's go. Right now. It's 2CP5K, FFBE. Quite funny, no glass yellow synergy. You know, that was the whole gimmick of glass yellow. It's like, oh my God, what, what is, more SEs am I going to get for crystals? Nah. This is a really interesting card. Uh, choose one forward. It gains uh, when this forward is dealt damage. Break this forward. And, uh, until the end of a turn. Uh, you can do this ability once per turn. It's not during your turn, it's for both. Paying the one each time. Ice has some forms of ping, but very, very little. You're talking like Sid Reigns level. Like yeah, You're doing two-part combo wombos. Yes, you could do kind of cool things here of like one CP Cactuar. Ping, 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 good old classic. And then you could have this on top. You, know, you could do kind of tricky stuff, but the problem is, he has to kind of live. Uh, it's a, he's, he's two CP five K. Like a Brynhilda would knock him down. You know, it's a cool idea. I don't hate the card. It's quite nice for you know. We seem to be trying to push ice a wee bit, a bit back to ping damage of the old good old fire ice days and stuff. As I say, a fun combo for Cactuar and stuff and all that. First ever green mage. I'm gonna give him a wee bit of a good stuff just because of how unique I think it is kind of things. But overall, there's better cards out there. I think overall. I also just wanted to try the good stuff. Oh, that is good. We got some good stuff today. All right. Oh my God. Why did I not crack the beer? Why did I not crack the good stuff open for that? Can't say those naughty words online. And uh, four CP back up. Emina, <laughs> commanding officer. She is definitely commanding ice. Uh, when she enters the field, you may search for one ice character of true less and add it to your hand. What, back in Opus 8, I want to say, we got a 4 CP lock. I basically said, pick a thing, search for it. So back up monsters and all that. That was Icy's really only search engine. This is now Icy's search engine. But you know, you don't even have to kind of flip the deck. You can just say, I want Unileska. Yes, it's going to cost you 6. We pay 6 anyway for other elements like that. Fine. If you want to build a mono ice really quick list, go for it. I think, you know, you could also get their 2 CP, you know, ice card that says, you know, if there's free ice backups, play it for free. Quick ramp, very different for ice actually, because ice has never really had that chance to ramp. It was usually just dumb luck, but you got the backups or weird search synergies and kind of things and all that. This is just quite nice and neat. Hey, as I say, if you want to get your Biblos, if you want to get a part of your knights, you know, as well, what you're missing or stuff like that, or your Fasalis for your S special, lots of potential, lots of things to build in with this. It is a 4 CP investment, you know, a pretty dull backup after that, but hey. I, I saw you, my commanding officer. I would follow you into battle. There you go. It's just nice to see Ice getting some sort of like actual pretend synergy in the background. It's, it's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. All right. Let's go next. Oh, my first full art. And, you know, big fan of Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, great game. Triple Triad is OP. Please bring it back. Uh, 3CP 7K Questus Instructor, not a Blue Mage. Yeah, that was controversial. Uh, so once you enter the field, uh, choose the same number of characters uh, as FF8 characters you control, including her, delve them. If you control three or more, freeze them. So theoretically, if you control Questus, 
and a backup, and I don't know, say Squall, for example, that I will get into later on, or the new selfie, you know, there's the Cells, there's the Disciplinary Squadron, there's uh, the Sid backup, there's loads of different things. It's just a really good thing. She does have a wee bit of a name clash. Uh, the Quistus 3CP backup, it basically searches for, you know, you flip a couple cards for there, you damage three, you get a uh, FF8 back. I don't hate it. I think concealed with it being only a rare, and potentially if you get something like the squall or you know selfie or other bits and pieces of FF8 of that, it could be really strong. You know, saying Dolph uh, freeze free uh, you know, and freeze them is pretty strong, and it's get it's characters, so it can start taking out monsters, it can take out backups and things, which. It's nice to see that ice has kind of progressed to this next level because it was always forwards, always that kind of things. Then he tended a few backups and stuff, but just naming a character is pretty strong. But you know, would they waste uh, Ami on that? Would they try and cancel it? Would they remove targets? Is the backup better? I don't know. I'm gonna say it's good stuff just because it's FF8. They're really pushing FF8 right now, and I love to see it. Uh, can't wait for FF9 support, you know, jinx and all that stuff. So. But yeah, I think it's cool a card for a rare. I can't ask for much more for a rare, so that's why I get any good stuff. Oh boy, get your star symbols out, folks. We've got for, for 11 back. Woo! For some banging beats on my bard. It's 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 a true common. It, it actually has more words than a common. I think usually does. Uh, just one forward to OS, dull it. Very very. There's better ways of doing stuff. You know, even a Chris. There's just better ways of doing things. Don't. And then pay one, uh, discard one ice card, so that's free CP gone, and you're back at the break to uh, choose one dull forward break it. That's the most ice thing I have ever read. And I appreciate this is a part of a chain, like lots of two CP backups that have this extra cost, but choose one dull forward break it. We've played, we've all played ice long enough. We all know that they just have to do is activate it, bumps it back to your hands or something, and you are a sad, sad person, a sad chap. So, yeah. Hey, they t I, I can appreciate it. It's a nice wee of our 11 searcher. Fine. But no. Yeah, would this, could this have been an EX? I, no, I still wouldn't touch it. Still wouldn't touch it. Uh, all right. Next one, we've got a box topper, Kurasami, and it's not Potato Ed. Uh, in it, we can actually read all of its wonderful text. It is Type 0 and Gido Agent, my first legend, 7 CP 9K. Big, big, chunky forward for ice, which is rare with the amount of nines that they have. In case, usually it's 8k kind of stuff. When it's just the field, select one of two of the following actions, already pretty solid uh, for your needs. Choose up to the same number of characters as ice package you control, double and freeze them. So you're basically getting a maximum of potentially five dull freezes on their characters. I like it. It's up to as well, so you can basically scale it back. You can put it forward kind of things. It's, yeah, really, really good. Uh, I, I, I don't think that's a bad play at all. Choose up the same uh, number of characters as I uh, control, double and freeze them. Yep. And then the next one is it's big, super, super Sephiroth play. Your opponent uh, discards one uh, card for each ice backup you control. You're never getting the five discard. I'm sorry. It sounds awesome, but if they don't have a summon in their hand or some way of responding to that, then you've already won the game in my mind, kind of thing. Like, no one's just going to sit there with five forwards in their hand, just go, oh, I passed turn. And you go, aha, Kura Sam, and he's, oh no, my cards, what do I do with these? Oh, the game's finished. No, we're going to have like three summons waiting for you and go, all right, well, here's Miss Dragon, here's that, and here's this. I've gone to zero in hand, but you know, you, I've just also done all this to you. I, the best way you're ever playing this card is off three backups. A nice early tempo with three backups, you dull that, dull that, you get three dull freezes, kind of things. That is super strong, I think. That is a real like stunt name completely in you know, that situation. Best part about this card, though, is the cool S Blazaga. Choose one forward, deal at 9k. Opus 13 Pasalis is still one of the most heavily played ice cards because it actually didn't say dull, a dull forward. This doesn't say a dull forward. It's super cheap. It's not a name that you don't really care about as well. The only ever Kurosami searches for something and all that kind of things. It's a really good little legend, I think. It survives an AMI, yes, in that situation. But I think if you get this off on turn three, when you have three backups out kind of things, I don't think you'll be regretting it. It'll completely set the game's tempo to really something strong, and it's a great little blocker. Ticks a lot of boxes. It's a good stuff legend. It's nice to see them getting a really good legend. Next, oh, Comfort Wraith, or Call of Darkness, sorry. <laughs> 
five CP, big nine K, big body again. Great to see. Uh, when it enters the field, if your opponent has two or less cards in their hand, your opponent selects one forward. They control put in the break zone. It's counterfeit Rafe, as I say. It's they get to pick the forward, so they will or pick one if it has a break ability or have a forward in hand. Uh, I can appreciate it. I, you know, it's the reason why like a lot of people are playing that water alpha node to get around like the Tidus. So I'm not targeting. You're picking your own. Ah, I can stuff. Got you. Fine. I think for sealed, this could be quite strong. It's just a big, beefy, you know, big beefy lass uh, coming at you with this. Cute as a cute little guy. Look at him. That's, 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 that's just me when I'm like always in the FFTCG fans being like, we're OP. Kind of stuff. It's just, it's that vibe I get. But yeah, it's a cool little card. I think it's very, I think it could be, you could maybe do it in sealed, maybe with like discards and stuff and all that. People are going, all hands. But with that, I don't see it seeing much meta play. We'll have to be wrong. Really would, because Cold Darkness has some strong names, but yeah, sorry, it's a me. My Seymour face when I read this. Wow, you're making me read this. Okay, 6, six CP, 7K, EX, burst. Uh, when Seymour enters the field, choose one, dull forward, break it. He knows he's ice. He knows he's only ever getting the EX out of that situation. And it's a, it's a true ice common. If you are absolute gangster and play three of these in sealed and one triggers, this is like 7 CP old in heaven. Ah, you know, like there'll be cheers in the crowds and all that. It's like, oh no, you did it. Oh yeah, dude. That's it. This should never see real play. I'm sorry to say. There are so many of our better Seymours out there. Please. Use the ever see more. It's just as there's, I want to say ice has better exes, but that's the problem as well. This is the level of ice's exes. They're just, yeah, true. See more face. See more reacts only in the comments, please, for my uh, <laughs> description. Now, wow, they done this big cycle of summons, and they always do it. They always kind of mirror the same sort of monster or something else, and this one's oh. Shiva, great name for summons as well. All characters, your opponent's controls lose all their abilities until the end of, uh, of the turn. If a CP was played uh, to cast Shiva, uh, if a CP was played to cast Shiva, was only produced by backups, draw a card. Great. Ice has a draw. Very rare kind of a race, actually, for, for Salus and stuff. One of the reasons why I still played. So Ice getting a draw, great. Just turning off everything. Your opponent's monsters, your opponent's you know, backups and stuff and all that, that is really big for Ice, because Ice, as I say, always you say when we hit our forwards. It's kind of a curse of Ice. It's just never got up updated over times, you know? It's like, oh, back in my day, there's only forwards. Well, no, Grandpa, we've got backups. We've got all these cool stuff happening with monsters. I really like it for that. I think it should see some potential play. It's a shame we don't have a kind of a, you know, to kind of reduce its cost onto two. I think it was a two CP. It would all be on this. This is really absolute crack. In that situation, but however, you had to keep it relevant, had to keep it kind of fair for these prison style decks. But I think you know, yes, they can respond with actions, yes, they can respond with other things and all that. That's or S is fine, at least you're baiting it out, at least you're getting that you're making them use it when they don't want to use it, kind of things. You know, you're trying to just plant their fields, you know, power boosters, all that means nothing to this card. It just says, sorry, your field is just. You know, black mage level. You know, black, uh, just nothing. So they're just what they see in the card. That's it. I don't hate it. I I think it's one of the stronger ones. I think it's full art. It's stunning. Ticks a lot of the boxes for Shiva. Definitely gets the good stuff. I think it's one to watch out for uh, potentially. I think it's gonna have a. I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna start some very interesting decks, and someone's gonna have built something beautiful with this card. Oh, it's my, one of my favourite girls. I have to do the... <laughs> yes, I'm going to police. <laughs> you know, just that face is true. The sissy vibes, I love it. <laughs> you know, I need you to make this art for me. All right, what do you want? Because I'm going fun. Nah, just her chilling on her phone, just talking, talking rad stuff and all that, being like, yeah. Two CP Sisney, 6K Haste, comes in dull, fine. The trick is, you know, when you have one or more job members of Turks uh, forwards that are attacking, it activates. You can attack more than once this turn. Well, four or five sets ago, we got the Rufus versus Cloud starter deck with this whole idea of, you know, I play Rufus, Reed, uh, Reno, and, you know, they, they all have haste and they all have first strike and they all, and then you do to sing to give more searches and more, bigger, bigger, and all that. 
this card's just adding on to that gimmick. The only problem is you still can only have five cards in hand. You know, seven, you know, withdraw. Where are you getting all this CP? Where are you, throw, how are you throwing all this out? Kind of things, you know, this is, it's issue. Yes, it can get boosted. Yes, it can get first strike from other parts of the package, but you need to draw it all the right time. You need to draw it in the right order. You need to get all this kind of stuff. And it's a shame. And I think the curse of this card is, and there are other Turks up here, Sissini's one of the best ice backups ice has still because it's super searchable and ice lightning package kind of things it's just also just quite a good little backup that's its curse i would love to see the kind of otk rush with this knee and other like alinas and rude rifles and, and rude and reno and everything else i love it for its art so it gets the good stuff uh but i'm sorry i I think it's running down the wrong line for ice. I don't ever see ice doing OKDK. I don't think ice lightning Turks is strong enough, even with the new Rufus. The new Reno Rude package is quite nice, but again, where are you getting all the CP? Where how are you how are you pulling these magic numbers on me that I'm not I'm not sitting there as your opponent going, Well, I can see this coming a goddamn mile away and excuse me, here is all the oh, is all the counters. I was waiting for you to do this. It's too televised, too much what's going on. I hate to do it to her, but cracking card, cracking art. I love everything about it. It was just true, just, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're being mean to me. <laughs> I will, I will deal with them <laughs> from there. All right. Straight into another full art. Jill Navat, searching them psychons. Woo, can search herself. It's a forward that only searches backups right now. It's the best thing I can say about it. Uh, you know, yes. It can search Yagrosh and Water. It can search Yagrosh and Lightning. It can now search your Yag and uh, your Eurid as well. And Lightning backup is that's all it can do. It could theoretically get stronger. It could start getting cool forwards and everything else and all that. The problem is Psychons are a really restricted name. Going to go on the w Wikipedia's Psychons have lots of like general standard Unix kind of things and all that. Like your Scouts, your Rangers, your Death Core. You know, you name it. They got all those kind of things. So if you suddenly got a spree of them cool i could see her being played but right now uh, she's kind of a half step you know i just don't see her being much more than that right now i'm sorry to say because it's trying to build that connection between ice and lightning and actually ice and lightning how they have quite a strong connection and this isn't helping i would have said you know the ice the, ice, the, the lightning backups is getting are already okay there are better stronger variations i would have said and getting the water yagros ice waters been dealt with, been dabbled. I just don't see it being that relevant getting that water back up unless something dramatically changes in the game. Uh, you desperately need it, then sure. But, you know, at most I think I ever played a Yagrosh water as a one of, and, you know, that one game it came out, oh, you know, it was perfect. 90% of the time I was like, it's just Yagrosh. So that's what he does. Still, cool art. Shame. Yep, not even humoring this. Monster in the backup. Wow, it's, it's, wow, this is the most ice one after I read that, you know, old school Kefka requiring so many things. Celestia, Celestia has a weird name block. The Ice Water Legend is actually, I think, kind of relevant these days. It's creeping there, it's getting there, it's getting stronger. Uh, Dullet, choose one forward against four plus an hour in the end of the turn. You can only do it if you have five ice backups. I love how they try and make ice ramp with five backups but then you get things like the kefka and all that and it's like but if you just don't see your five backups and they have no efficient way of searching them these cards are just dead it's just such a such a wasted backup and it's a true comment it's a true ice card don't go there just don't oh right we'll shit out shit out here's the good stuff here's the good stuff this is why i wanted ice get my boy squall see canada ff8 4cp 8k love it all so far if I control four or more uh, characters, Squall gains 2k. And if he's dealt damage by your uh, by your opponent's abilities, damage goes to zero. That's super cool. Kind of relevant to some lists and everything else. You know, the ping decks and stuff and all that. You know, the wall 5k pings and stuff. Uh, can't touch it with the pings. Yes, it still has first strike. So, you know, remember kids, first strike wins. But it can just generically be a strong, big beat stick. You know, 10k, you have to kill it with a summon. You have to do three, you have to figure ways. What I love is, his next part doesn't even need to attack. It's just at the beginning of attack phase. If I have a category 8 forward, uh, 4 or less, I can play it onto the field. 
That is Irvine. That is your um, disciplinary squads. That is your Quistus. That is your Renoa uh, hero promo back in the days. That is your Zells. Oh my God, my Zell is relevant. Let's go. Lots of ticks, lots of great things on this card. I could see it being really strong. You know, if you open this with the Quistus and a selfie legend in your, in your seal, you are just going to be stomping. You're going to be stomping some, with some poor kids in at your ones and be like, yeah, yeah. And he's still going to come up to them and be like, you want to play some cards? Yeah, we play cards. He's just a cool one. I think he's definitely one of the stronger squalls. It's just a shame because squalls has to use his name like the old fire one things, but this. It's pushing a new idea of it being just the super cheap, super things. And I think even with the disciplinary squads, their new Irvine legend that we the Irvine legend we had, which has just been game bustingly good for it. It's really brought it back to the map. Getting a free one of that in attack phase. And it has haste, it has its own trigger. It's good. Trust me. Trust me. You're gonna want to play it. You're gonna play it and be like, yeah, it's good. Now let's get not this version, let's get the Good version and all the rules. We've seen this card ages and ages ago. I'll try not cover it too deep, but there's a few things you need to know when you see this card and how to play it right, I feel. Forward 7k when it enters the field, discard uh your opponent discards one card. Say it does all that, no trigger, it just does it. Cool, three CP seven K. Uh a nice Sephiroth with a few back attacks, you have Nelson, all that ones. The name clash isn't horrendous. This is one of the better ones I would have said. However, the ice lightning one. Depends on what list you're playing. The way, what sells this card is the next part. Pay three, one being ice and two. Remove Sephiroth from your hand uh, from, uh, from the game. Choose one down forward, break it. So they go to attack phase, they attack with something. Yes, they'll get their attack trigger, but you just go, no, nah, no damage, it's dead, get rid of it. They're going to be pretty sad. Yes, they can maybe secretly activate and all that kind of things, but it's a hand trap. They have no idea you have that in hand. So as long as you keep free CP up, they'll be thinking, is that a summon? Is that kind of buff? So no, it's just a hand trap. It's done. Yes, if they remove the target or if they activate it, you won't get the next part of this. So just remember that in your games. You know, it will. They, they rely on each other to work. So until the, uh, until the end of your turn, you can cast uh, Sephiroth removed, uh, removed by its abilities cost. You can only do this uh, whilst it's in your hand. So essentially, they attack. You, you play this free. It it worked. It resolved. Great. You've broken it forward. And then when you go to your draw phase in your main phase one, your main phase two, you can now play the Sephiroth to get the additional discard. That's pretty strong. Yes, it's only a simple one entry and all that. But for a free CP 7K, there's not much more I can ask for. It's a big improvement on, you know, the Seras and all that kind of things. It's... Back attack, but it's a hand trap. It's less chance for them to interact with it. I think it's a very good legend. I really do. I think it's one that we're going to see quite a bit of. Well, I'm saying it's going to replace a 4CP Ice Lightning one. I think you're building different lists then. Will this replace the old 7CP one as a 3CP other weird Sephiroths? Yes, it should, because this is also nuts for Cloud Pod. Yeah. I will let other people get into a deck tech list of that kind of stuff, but this... 3CP is prime reality for what, what Cloud Pods wants to do. That's a real magic number, you baby. You know, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep an eye out for this. All right, we're almost there. We are here with 2CP Time Mage, 5K standard forward. Bench field, don't let him freeze it. We have seen this before, probably enough on a previous Time Mage a few sets ago. It's strong, it's simple, great for sealed, I think. There's this nice little body that says your threat's dead, kind of things. And if you control, uh, uh, when it enters the field, you may choose another character, character, so monsters, backups, and all that. If you control two or more uh, job standard unit backups, don't let it freeze it. We have seen there's a few other uh, standard unit backups in this set for sealed, so you could easily quite reach that target. Would you do this during normal games? Unlikely. I think L3, L6, potentially, maybe, but there are some really good Del Freezes coming in L3, L6 already. It's maybe missed the boat in that situation, but. I think if you're if I could I could see this uh, creeping up a few times and then, you know it's a sealed draft kind of stuff and then this being a strong little card you might get two triggers off and I think your opponents would not be terribly happy. That's the only bit. Yeah. But overall in the real games, I just don't see this creeping in. I just don't. You know, even with the standard unit three C uh, two CP three backups, uh, you're going to weird weird lines. You know. There'll be monsters in your deck if you're really going down that way, you know what I mean? It's 
you're 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 playing some crazy stuff, kid. I love it. You go off meta. <laughs> no, wow. All right, we're on full amano right now. I was waiting for my amano card. Free CP seven K forward. I thought it was a monster when I first looked at it because you know I do so. That's smart. Hey. Edge of the field, choose one forward, uh, play, place a petrification counter on it, and it gains if, if it's got this counter on this forward, it cannot attack a block, and it costs five to remove this counter. Um, in sealed, that is potentially a massive bomb, but basically saying with that big thing that you've invested heavily on all that, just can't do anything. Like It's just dare dead. It doesn't matter if Medusa gets killed. It can't do anything. It just sits there and it's like, well, you know, I've petrified. That's kind of cool. Kind of wanted it to be a monster. Not going to lie. Uh, I think it would be a much stronger card. I think it would be a much stronger hero. You know, as you know, CP, 7K. Also, when I do this, that's it kind of stuff. But I don't hate it. I don't love it. I need to play test with it. But it's not something that I feel anyone, anyone paying five is good like you've you made your value kind of thing and all that but i just feel there's other ice has this really new trend of like the weird back attack monsters we had like the calbrenas and the uh, other things like that and then they had like the number 23 cards and stuff of they love lots of text on ice of lots of weird mechanics and things that just i don't know if ice has the space ice has the mentality ice has that play style yet of what it's trying to do it's kind of just trying lots of odd things Ice always seems to do that will this one stick I would love to be proven wrong in this card. I really would. I think concealed it could be quite deadly because you know your resources, your rushing games, and all that kind of stuff. It could deal with that, but actually, you know, all we have to do is bounce it back to our hand. So there's loads of way around it. Yeah, no, I'm I'm glad I stuck with my mouth. I, I yeah, we chose right. We chose right. <laughs> One CP Yuke backup. Hey, it's a standard unit. FFCC still relevant, kids. Get those promos in Norse. Men's field, look for the top card of your deck. You may put it to the top or the bottom. It's cool. It is what it is. There's a whole series of these. All of them, I think, are FFCCs. Would these be scandalous if you had any X in them? Absolutely, but I would have thought it would be more hilarious. It would have pushed you to play these more than, I think, the other one CP, like Mechanis, and it was like, pay, an el pay one element and draw a card. If I had any X, would it be busted? Would it not? Answer to the postcard, please, or in the comments. I think it's quite a cool little thing. I like to see more FFCC synergy, and I think weirdly for uh, Ice, this FFCC was always a bit iffy. Not impossible, iffy. But yeah, will you find room for this? I, I don't know. Maybe an L6, L3 is absolutely, you know, it's cool. Oh boy, I'm getting all the FFA. I'm so glad I picked Ice. It's Renoa. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Um, 3CP backup resistance fighter. And, you know, if you control a card named Squall, the cost reduces it, uh, is reduced by one. Great. There's actually an ice uh, Squall uh, backup, which is kind of fun. So you could just have this and this and just go, haha, it's always 2CP. Can't touch it. Kind of cute. Its uh, action is quite strong, actually. So put one into the break zone. Your opponent discards two, uh, two cards. You can only do this during uh, your turn. It's a shame Renoa is the only FF8 searcher up with selfie backup, which you know we can't really play now, is Renoa backup. Again, there are more FF8 characters out there. Give me a Norg that's you know said this 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 whole card, I would have loved it, or a Norg searcher. That's the curse of FF8 right now. It just doesn't have a searcher to keep it consistent, but still. Off topic. It's paying a lot to basically empty their hands. It can trigger with other things like the most and stuff and all that. I think theoretically it can be very powerful. This with you know you know Escalade or whatever kind of stuff. But Ice only has you know Escalade. it has other ways to make you discard. I don't see this being terrible. I don't see it being hugely playable kind of things. I just wish FF8 had a bit more sway to search itself. You know, get deep. You know, just search itself, find itself. But yeah. Super cute, um, super cute full art. It's a common. I could definitely see it being put in the sealed kind of stuff because it would be easy to get if you get the squall. Great, you've got a snowball effect. I could maybe see it in some um, FF8 like tribal list as well. Uh, it's just a shame because that old hero promo, like the monthly promo we got where Rizzo can come in for zero CP, this will be it's what's fighting its spot for. And that's a real shame because 
it's it's super cute. So yeah, I'll give it good stuff for what it's trying to do, but I think it's I think it's a true FF8 problem of its synergy of its names. And with that, we are on to LB. I won't go into the LB rules. Check on the FFTCG uh, news. They've just updated all the rules for these guys. But yeah, let's go over it. It's a Dragoon. Was this the card they finally needed? Find out next time. Hint. No. <laughs> for CP 7K. You be, you basically have to use your two LB cards, flip them over. This is the third one to come out, so you still have five, you still have five left on your LB. If your opponent uh, has no cards in their hand, it gains free uh, free K, so it's potentially a four CP ten K. All right. When it enters the field, choose one forward. If your opponent has two cards or less, deal it seven K. That's kind of nice. It's kind of a cool little you know if you just want to deal with a problem kind of thing. Uh, I can see it stacking up quite nicely. It's quite a cool. Visual, you know, idea as well. Gameplay style of a dragoon just coming out of nowhere in the sky, and this LB deck is going to smash, throwing a spear, and stuff. It's a curse of all LB. If you don't have haste, I'm not a big. I I think the mechanic is very fragile because you know if it gets balanced, if it goes to the break zone, if anything happens to it to remove from the game, it goes to the other deck kind of thing. And never you can never replay it. It's not one of the worst LBs I've seen. I don't think it's one of the best ones. I think for the limited card we have, it is super strong. One of the better ones that we think we can see. That's why it's a hero LB. I think it's definitely one to maybe keep an eye out for because, yeah, uh, it's it's cheap enough, to good enough to go. Well, I see a single Dragoon player starting to run this. Watching you guys, watching you. Do not. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. All right. Well, we're down to our last card here. Mr. Sergey's free CP, 7K. Uh, limit break one, so basically it's only two. Super cheap. It's quite a decent body actually size for that. When it's the field, select one of two followings, dull it or freeze it. It's a forward. It's the most ice thing I've ever read in my life. Sure. I think that's what LB is right now. It's just you're so limited on choices. And if you are doing a mono ice kind of list, your choices are very limited of these two cards. So you're gonna you're gonna basically find room for both because you don't want to name class too much. Ice Lightning, I think the Ice, I think the Lightning ones are a bit stronger for some of the uh, LBs. I think the Water LBs, you could go Ice Water and get some strong stuff. Just be wary. I, I, he's the weaker over two, and actually that makes sense because he's only a Lancer. And we all know if you start to be a Lancer, then you get your job up to Dragoon. So yeah, yeah. I play my, I play my 14. I know my stuff. I don't really. <laughs> so thank you very much, folks, for joining me for this YYT set review. Really enjoyed it. And uh, we've got, as I say, all the other ones coming up soon. We'll have a lot more of our content on our websites. And we're really going to try and push for 2024 to kind of get back into the community and give this game a big cheer that it really deserves. Thank you again. And see you all soon. Bye.